Texas Tech family, we're here. We're still chopping it up with King Zo. What's going on? What's going Nothing on? Nothing much. Seven Trey. Yes. A little uh, tidbit about Seven Trey. Um, you know, as a kid growing up, I always loved donks. Me like, too. you know, like everybody would talk about Benzes and Porsches and stuff. I would always be like, yo, I want a donk. Listen, you me know, too. I want as, a candy coated one. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's just something about like that's like a Dade County trophy. It is. So it's just like it's like. I always wanted one, so it's just like this is now that I'm able to to get one, and you know live that life. I could I want to talk about it. So it's just like sort of like my me showing love to the old school players who who showed us how it was supposed to be done. You know it's what I mean? It's that nostalgia. Yeah. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh man, you like took me back nostalgia with the rims, Katie Cole, and you can tell. I mean, the the crazy thing is the amount of money that yeah. people would throw. Yeah. Into fixing a oh my god, like it's like most people don't. I know, like Rick Ross, I seen an interview, he said he spent like $250,000 on his dunk, yep. you know, and that and that like that wouldn't look that nobody would look at him like he's crazy for doing that, right? But you know, you'll go out there, you'll spend a hundred thousand dollars on like a brand new Porsche or mm -hmm. Benz, but that 73 is just different, you it's know. It's something about it, and the crazy thing is though, back in the days. I mean, that was like, I mean, police would just see you and you were a target. Yeah, yeah. Cause it, I mean, you was. I mean, it's kind of like that's what it is. It's like that's like what South Florida is really about. It's like being seen. Right. So it's like those was like a way of showing everybody, like, yo, I'm here. You can't hide. You can't hide in a don't. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you really don't. Listen, that base yeah. in that trunk. They know you coming. Walk, they know you coming. It ha you ha Like you could not just ride around and. I mean, it's pretty. It's candy coated. Yeah, it's shine. You had to have that face. It got to, like, it's, like, you can have a, it's a difference between a donk and an old school. Right. You know, you can have old school, but a donk is from scratch. You it redid is. the motor, the tranny, the interior, the carpet, right. the system. Like, it's, everything is you. It's like, you put yourself into that car. Right. So that's why people love them so much, because it's like, it's just like your house. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you spend most of your time in your life in your car and in the house. It is. And, oh, my God. The type of accolades you would get with that, i.e. women. Like I said, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I remember, well, God, I'm aging myself. But I remember after games, people would just line the cars up on the strip. Absolutely. And that's it. It wouldn't even be. You don't even go nowhere. Listen, you just yeah. had to let out. It ain't no and party. Car, nothing. It's nothing. We just chilling. People got their music playing. People got their drink, and you just out there, and it's just a vibe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's like, and that's really was the vibe that I was going for. Like, what I remember growing up is like on 46th Street. Yeah. It will always be right there. They always the dunks will always come down 46th Street, and they just do their thing down there. Like 46 and 27, they always come down. And I used to look at them. I used to see them come to the flea market, go down to South Beach, see them on the beach. And when, like I said, I always wanted one. So when I was able to get my own and do my own thing, you know, she going to be dropping real soon. Nice, nice. <laughs> but you're going to be in date with it? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. I'm going to be everywhere with it. I'm going to try to take it everywhere as many places as I can because, like, when we drop the album, on the thirty first, we going we going on the road with it. So you know, I want to take me everywhere I go, and that's that's a part of me. Like that's I said, that's like my trophy. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like my Grammy to me. That's like it, my thing. Listen, I, people look at me like, what you? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. It's a day kind of thing. You wouldn't you, understand. You wouldn't understand. Yeah. It's, it's it's just different down here about yeah. cars. We yeah. crazy about them. So as far as your radio is concerned, y'all still have the have to follow FCC regulations and all no. that. No, mm, nice. The reason, but well, we are we are an internet uh, radio station. Okay. But with the internet radio station, we got licensed through BMI and ASCAP, the two major publishing companies. Nice. So in that way, when we play people's music or show like a show, and they have their BMI and stuff like that, they also receive publishing for that. Nice. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like well, we're like I said, I w I made it. We made the station in mind of like what would I want. Mm -hmm. as an artist so if i'm an artist i want to get paid for being there i want to get paid for spending now i'm the station may not pay you but when you get the footage that from that then you get your a uh, spinning your record right. you get publishing from that nice. you know what i'm saying so anything that you do at the station is about helping other people get money and gain and go to another level but how important is that because it seemed like like we losing touch on that part that piece especially in south florida um that's i mean at the end of the day if you want a perfect example because everybody says it like this but 
Just Atlanta. That's true. <laughs> I mean, you know, the more you stick together, the more we work together, the more we get accomplished. And I feel like in down in South Florida, it's starting to change a little bit. It's starting to get there because people getting out of their own way. They starting to understand that together we always gain more. So, and that's just what I wanted to do with the station. It's just like get everybody an opportunity to be heard. That's what's up. Lino Fela Foss. We'll be back. <laughs>